Hello, I'm Joe Otero, President and CEO of Tony Scotti's Vehicle Dynamics Institute, more commonly known as VDI. And for the past decade, our team has been carrying forward the legacy that Tony Scotti built over the course of 40 years as the world's premier provider of highly specialized driver training programs. For the next few minutes, you're going to get a glimpse at how our students learn to apply the science of vehicle dynamics in order to successfully overcome behind-the-wheel emergencies. According to a study conducted by the Society of Automotive Engineers, the average driver, when confronted with such an emergency, begins to fail at just 40% of their vehicle's capability, an option our students simply can't afford. VDI's unique approach to driver training not only introduces our students to the science of driving, but also allows our professional instructors to objectively evaluate driver performance and improvement throughout a series of increasingly complex exercises that closely replicates real-world emergencies. 36, 37, All right, you heard our speeds, right? Yeah. Uh, we are from 36 to 37 to spin and out solely because we were one or two mile an hour too fast. Uh, remember Janine covered it in, uh, with the math on the board? You're out here driving the math now. Yeah, too just, gonna, fast. just gonna slow down one to two mile an hour and you'll be fine. If you think back to Newton's third law, object in motion tends to stay in motion until acted upon by an equal but opposite force. Well, in this case, we actually have to generate not just an equal force, we have to generate a greater force every time we turn the wheel. We refer to this stacking the load because I've got to put more and more load on the car. So as I go through here, I'm going to experience more and more loss of control the understeer or oversteer is gonna become more intense or I'm gonna reach a point where I may transition between the two. A little bit sooner, about a heartbeat sooner when you're in front of the obstacle, right? 35, 36, 35. The situations that we're most concerned with and that we replicate in our exercises are those which require a complex solution. Nice job, nice job. See what a difference it makes the faster you get to that brake pedal and activate the ABS system? Yeah, absolutely. Nice job. Thank you. From our perspective, they are the single most important component of the car for you as a professional driver because every input you make is relying on those tires and the grip they have on the road to get the car to perform as you expect it to. It's also the single most important maintenance issue for you particularly when it comes to checking those tire pressures. Limited time for the driver to recognize the problem and react to it, and limited distance to implement the solution once you've recognized the problem and come up with that solution. A visual change in the environment, whether it be a gun coming up, a soccer mom on a cell phone blowing through a stop sign. It is a visual indication, something in your peripheral vision indicates there's a problem presenting itself. While the average driver may only use 40% of their vehicle before giving up control, long before the vehicle reaches its limits, in order to graduate one of our courses, a student must demonstrate the ability to consistently use at least 80% of the vehicle's cornering and braking capability in a series of challenging exercises, culminating with the completion of a demanding obstacle course, again at 80% of the vehicle's capability, while being placed under a tremendous amount of stress. A scientific methodology, exacting standards, and realistic scenarios. That's the VDI difference. For more information about VDI, contact us at 732-738-5221 or visit our website at vehicledynamics.net.